In today's video, we are gonna be making this sci-fi scene in Blender. So without wasting enough time, let's get started. Remove the default cube and the light source. Download the 3D model from the link in description and import it into the viewport. Rotate the 3D model negative 90 degrees in Z axis. Reduce the scale value to 0.1. Set the origin as geometry to origin. Press Tab key to go to edit mode, then wireframe mode, and after that, select the desired vertices and remove them. Again come over to solid mode. Select the camera and press Ctrl plus Alt and 0 to align it to the scene. Increase the focal length of the camera in camera settings. In transform settings, Make few changes to the X, Y and Z axis location of the camera. Select the female head and with the help of move tool, uh, move it downwards in Z axis. Add a plane mesh to the viewport and scale it. Duplicate the plane mesh, rotate it 90 degrees in X axis and move it a little bit away to serve as a background for the scene. Switch the render engine from EV to Cycles. Select CPU or GPU. Enter viewport and render max samples to 32 and 128. In the color management, change view transform to standard and look to very high contrast. Go to rendered mode. Again add a plane mesh to the viewport and move it upwards in z-axis. Add a new material in material properties and switch from principal BSDF to emission shader. Make a few changes to the position of the light source. Also you can make some changes to the camera alignment to get a desired look. Now for shading the scene, head over to shader editor. First of all, select the background mesh and uh, add a new material. Increase metallic and specular to 1 and reduce roughness to 0.2. Change the base color to a light shade of blue. Select the light source and bring it closer to the scene. Now select the bottom plane and add a new material. Increase metallic and specular to 1 and uh, decrease roughness to 0.1. Now select the head, increase specular to 1, reduce roughness to 0 and increase subsurface value to 1. Drag and move the material output node below the principal BSDF node. Add a vector displacement node and uh, join it to the displacement in the material output. Switch from tangent space to world space and reduce the scale value to 0.2. Add a combine XYZ node and join it to vector displacement. Add a Voronoi texture. Switch from Euclidean to Minko sky and join it to the Z axis in combine XYZ node. Select the Voronoi texture and press Ctrl T to get the texture coordinate and mapping node. Add a wave texture between the texture coordinate and the mapping node. Switch from bands to rings and X to Z axis. Add a color ramp node and join it to the subsurface color. Flip the color ramp and change the interpolation from linear to ease. Add two colored stops 
and uh, change them to colors uh, similar to what shown in the video. Also change the position of the colored stops similarly. Join the Voronoi texture to the color ramp. In the material properties under settings, switch from bump only to displacement only. Change the position of the color stops to get some good looking composition. Select the camera and make a few changes to its transform values to get a proper alignment. Select the female head and move it downwards in Z axis. Come to full screen layout. Select the female head and uh, add a subdivision surface modifier to it. You can increase the render value in the subdivision surface modifier as per your choice. Press Ctrl plus B and uh, drag to select the render region. Now let's render out the image. Uh, the rendering process will take time depending upon how powerful the computer is. Now the rendering has finished and uh, this is how the scene actually looks. You can also increase the exposure value in the color management uh, to get a brighter scene. Thank you so much to everyone for watching the video. If you found the video useful, do drop a like, subscribe the channel and uh, don't forget to add your valuable comment. Hope to see you all in the next video. Till then, stay tuned and keep learning.